What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Uh, let me break it down for you real quick. So the initial plan was to grind up the team and especially this little troll guy. Uh, our dark fairy troll, I decided to add to the team because this thing seems pretty damn awesome and also really useful. Especially since we're about to take on all these dragons, I was going to get this thing up to uh, the rest of the team, like around level 51. But as you can see, it's only level 34. Um, because I started to grind it up and realized it was going to take me hours upon hours to get this thing up to the rest of the team. So, I decided that we're just going to go ahead and continue without this thing up to the level I would, li would like it to be. But I think, honestly, it's probably going to be okay. Um, one thing to note is that Happy actually did learn Ice School Crash. So, that's pretty damn awesome. If we can manage to um, avoid that 10% miss chance, this thing is going to really help us out. Uh, with that, that, look at that attack stat. Hot damn. But... Yeah, so other than that, we did get Ranja up to 51, kind of just up there with the rest of the team. Pharaoh is still 37, so we do have to kind of work on these two lads. It's going to be... I really wish... I, I, I'm probably going to be able to have to find time to grind these things up later. So one thing I really do not like about these Pokemon fan games is that for some reason, the creators decide to make everything so extremely high level. Like, look, we're not even close to the final badge, and we're expected to be around level 50, which is absolutely insane. So, um, like I said, I just did not have the time to grind that up. But we're just going to go ahead and hop in here and hope for the best. Um, I think we'll probably be okay. I think we have most, we have answers for most of what we're going to see, hopefully, at least. But uh, I think we're just going to run up yonder and see what is going down up here. So, yeah, here she is. She's just kind of her little makeshift gym she's got here. So, uh, we're just going to leave Happy in front and just kind of see how this goes. What's happening? Hello. Ah, you're the trainer with the Megastone, aren't you? I battled one a few minutes ago. He also had a Megastone. I think his name was Robbie. Robbie, huh? You're right, his name was Rod. Yeah, def <laughs> definitely Rodney. He was a tough opponent. He managed to defeat me. My brother hasn't come by yet. I think he's still training, but I don't think it will be enough. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't believe it. I, I mean, I do believe this dude's still training. This should take forever, bruh. But the lack of the speed up button in this game is just ridiculous. But Okay, the Megastone Professor Pinewood gave you. Alright, I'll tell you, but you have to battle me first. You should know, I was trained by Rex to be the Castellan for his castle, Castellan, uh, which means I'm really strong. Really strong, huh? Let's see, if you manage to beat me, I'll give you something you need in order to use your Megastone. So, um, we can't even use our Megastone, because the only Megastone we have is actually for freaking uh, our starter that we killed. So, alright, we're going to lead off with Happy here. And uh, how many are we able to bring? We're also going to definitely need to bring Ranja. And then is it three? Yep, it's three. Okay. I meant to say bring Donna in and Ranja, maybe? Or should I bring Dracula? I think we're going to go with that. I think that's a pretty solid squad there. But, alright, let's go for it. So, we don't even get a gym badge from this. Which is some damn bullshit. But Lizzie, she got some flames behind her. That was pretty badass. Alright. Only got three Pokemon. Probably going to have a Mega, though. Which I'm really worried about. So, leads off with a Fyndra. And, um, that is definitely an Ice Dragon. Which is scary, so we're going to give you a nice little Icicle Crash, I guess, just to see what that's going to do. It is neutral, so it does actually still do a decent amount of damage there. Dragon Pulse, my god, gets a critical hit. Of course, turn one, this thing crits me. So Fyndra is actually a pretty badass little draggy boy. I like this thing. We're going to finish it with a quick attack, though. Oh, okay, there's the Hyper Potion, of course. Um, so the good news is that now this quick attack will... Ooh, it's actually... Actually, a 2 KO. We're just going to go for it. Actually, that's kind of risky because it doesn't kill. I'm going to be so pissed. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I went for the second quick attack there. But if I got, like, minimum damage or if that was max damage the first time, that would have been absolutely terrible. But Happy does it. So, we get ourselves some solid XP. Next is a Fagon. And that's also something we have not seen before. We're going to go into Ranja on this thing. I'm really hoping it... Is it the Grass Evolved Dragon? I have no idea. Fagon. Oh, all right. Um. So... <laughs> This looks like a damn Lapras without its shell, which is kind of crazy. I feel like this thing also seems like it's water type. What What the hell? Let's... Before anything else, we should probably heal up Happy. Uh, Happy's going to be the most useful for us, so we're going to give you a nice little Hyper Potion, buddy. And then we'll be able to see what this thing wants to go for. It reminds me of Shiny Lapras so much. Okay, just Dragon Breaths. Which is fine. We're able to take that nicely. Um... I do think Shadow Ball is going to be a nice two-hit KO here. Let's just click Shadow Ball. I really should be looking up the types of these damn... Okay, nope. It doesn't even do half. Now it goes for another Dragon Breath. 
We can take those all day. If you want a dragon breath, breath that's totally fine. Um, also expected a little bit higher level of this thing, but you know, that's that totally fine. I'm just going to go for another Shadow Ball here. Not going to quite knock it out, but it just seems to Dragon Breath all day, so that is totally fine with us. And one more Shadow Ball is going to do it, so Ronda picks up a KO. Looking nice. And last but not not least is the Cryodra. Cryodra? Cryodra? Hello? Um, we're definitely going to go into... Happy here, it just seems like, what? This lady doesn't have anything that we've seen before. I expected at least some of the dragons that we've run into before her, but okay. And that thing is badass. It's like a shark with some, okay. Um, looks ice type, level 50. Uh, might've been good just to keep Ranja in there. But then we would've needed to heal. Okay, so this thing, if this thing doesn't mega, we're gonna be stoked. Uh, ice school crash here, yep, it's mega. All right, so this is exactly what I was worried about. Her busting out a crazy mega drag. Okay, yeah, this looks way more badass now. The mega ice dragon, at least I think it's ice. I don't even know, man. Ice school crash doesn't quite do half, but we do get the flinch, which is amazing. Ice school crash coming through for us. Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna go for another one here. Is it? yep, just gonna hit us with an ice beam. So it is ice type, and uh, that does not hurt us at all. We, we'd be resisting that happy. You're the man. All right, we'll just finish it off with a quick attack then, and we did it. So, I was honestly really worried about this battle. Probably a little bit more worried than I should have been, but you can never be too prepared, I guess. What a battle. You're full of energy. Thank you. She gives us 5,000 bucks. You're a really talented trainer. I never thought I would be defeated by two young trainers in a row. I believe you're strong enough to handle mega evolutions. Here, take this. And we get ourselves a mega ring. So, now we have the ability to mega evolve. I don't know if we have anything that has a mega stone, but... The Keystone is a stone that acts as a medium between the Pokemon trainer and one of his Pokemon. If your Pokemon is holding a Mega Stone and you activate the Keystone, uh, they react and your Pokemon is able to Mega Evolve. Some of the Pokemon in this region are able to Mega Evolve, like my Cryodra. I don't know why that name was so hard for me to, pr to pr pronounce, but I hope this will help you in your journey. Be careful, I gave Rodney a Mega Ring too. He took another for a girl named Kira. I think he has a crush on her. <laughs> so that's annoying, now we gotta worry about uh, freaking rivals having uh, mega evolutions, but that's something that we're going to uh, deal with when we come to it. So, we defeated the dragon lady. Now it's time to, I guess, just get out of here and kind of see if anything prompts us to go ahead. And, oh, okay, yep. So this dude's hanging out. Your sister's not even that good, bro. There you are. Heard you were battling, battling Lizzie in the castle. That's a mega ring, so you won, a, won the battle. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> we're working hard to understand the Balance Crystal, and determine if it can help us stop this Team Solar and Team Lunar guys. Uh, but there's a reason I wanted to speak with you. You're a magnificent Pokemon trainer, and you won the battle against the Solar Commander Gloria with ease, and now you've defeated Lizzie too, so I have a gift for you. It will help you in your battle against Team Solar and Lunar too. As you know, I'm a Dragon Specialist, so I'd like to give you a rare Dragon Egg. Hey, you can choose between five eggs, but choose carefully. Each egg contains a Pokemon with a different second type. So choose carefully. Oh man, they're always hitting us with these egg decisions. But this is actually great. We could use an, a dragon boy. Okay, um, do we want green, red, pink, yellow, or purple? Um, I'm going to assume that green is grass, red is fire, pink is fairy, yellow is electric, and purple, like, poison. I kind of want to go with yellow. But then fairy dragon would be badass. I'm going to go with the... I don't know if it's even going to be. But, okay, you should make room. I'll wait here for you. Okay, so I guess we, we get a second chance there. I went with pink. I have no idea if that's going to be the right choice. I probably am not going to look that up either. Because that seems like, I don't know. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and heal first things first. And then we'll deposit somebody. We'll probably get rid of our little jewel bug boy. But uh, this is exciting. We get to have a, another egg. I didn't hatch the last, you know, ones. But it, it's fine. We're going we're gonna to definitely need to see what comes of this one. Okay, Sniper Boy, we're going to put you in here. You can hang out there. And let's go get ourselves an egg, shall we? I should probably run around off screen just to see what that thing turns into. Because, uh, probably going to be pretty damn good. Alright, so, oh! I accidentally mashed A, and we ended up with the fucking green one. Bruh. <laughs> I wanted pink, but I ended up with green. Maybe that help me out I, why do I mash a so quickly this dude okay wow fucking damn it well um 
we get ourselves the green one. I guess that's okay. It, uh, I think we saw the Pokemon that this turns into. At least just judging by the colors of it. I guess that's kind of cool. Well, uh, you know, we'll take it. So that's fine. All right. We got ourselves a dragon egg. Things are looking great. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the Pokegear here. And uh, I assume... I mean, we're essentially done with this here. I assume we're supposed to fly to Sailport Town and then go down to Green Pine City. It seems like the only thing for us to do. We have the Whisper Tunnel on the way, along with Route 14, where we can catch something new. So let's go ahead and summon that one dude's Pokemon with the old service whistle and get ourselves out of here. So we are going to fly here, and then we're going to head down. So we're done with the Dragon Place, which is good. Nobody died this episode, so that's all you can hope for. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and change up the lead here. We are going to leave the EXP share on Troll, but for now, let's put uh, let's put Dracula up there. How about that, buddy? Dracula has not been getting the use he needs. You gotta, sometimes you got to stretch them wings out. All right, so let's head down this way. Check the old trash can. That's where it leads you to Whisper Tunnel, a really spooky cave. You know, everything. If the, I, I like me some spooky caves. If there's anything I'm about, it's a it's a whispering cave. Sounds sexual. I love this place. Get to enjoy the amazing smell of flowers while I fish for Pokemon. Cool. Well, okay, he is gonna actually battle us. I thought he was just gonna give us a nice little message, but he wants to battle. So Clancy here. Sick name you got, Clancy. He has a pool dog. Um, this is a good place for us to grind up, I guess, just because the levels are pretty low. I think we were able to access this this route earlier. I was gonna roll us out. So at least that gets rid of the intimidates, brings out happy. Uh, that's totally fine. We're just gonna finish you with a bulldoze then. Unfortunately, our troll is still too low to be kind of handling these level 42s, but uh, that's alright, we're just going to EXP share. One more bulldoze, going to do it, see you later, pool dog. Got his little drools coming off him, nice. Happy grows to 53, and next is a Swelligant. Um, so for Swelligant, let's just, uh, I mean, Happy's already 53, so we might as well just spread the love. Not super high level, so we don't really have to worry too much. Uh, no swell again here. Wait, this thing's fucking water type. Why did I bring in Ranja? Jesus. Why am I like this? It has swell in its name. It's obviously a water type. We're gonna switch them. I don't think I'll ever get the hang of these damn <laughs> new Pokemon. Why Why am I like this? Okay, Acrobatics is going to do the trick for you. Doesn't actually quite knock it out, but now it just chatters. Do you not have a water move? It freaking confuses me too. Why? The Ocarina gonna heal you up a little bit, but that did like nothing. What the hell was up with that? I always think the confusion is paralysis. Of course we hit ourselves in confusion because Dracula is freaking dumb as hell. And Drill Peck. Okay, we, we got a breakthrough here. Still in red health. We can take it. Okay, we do actually snap out. That was kind of risky going for an attack there now that, I, now that we think about it. But you know, gotta, gotta have risks. Next is a Yackle. Um, so that is the freaking Yackle. Is that the... Have we, why does that name not ring a bell? We've seen... Oh, wait. it does. It, I have seen this thing, right? Or maybe I've just seen the pre-evolution of this thing. Are you water type? What the fuck are you, Yackle? We're going to spiky shield. Why do you have blue horns? What is this? Oh, it's going to bulk up. Predicts the... Oh, my God. Predicts the spiky shield and goes for the stat boost. Okay. Well, we're going to drill run you then. Now with that plus one defense, not quite going to be able to knock you out, even with a critical hit. Hot damn. Now it has Aqua Slam. Yep, it's a water type. And ouch. That fucking hurts. But that's okay, because Donna can now just finish you off. And uh, yeah, that, that right there is a water yak. Kind of makes sense. It's like a water buffalo, but it's not. not. It's like a yak. Like, I don't know. Back to fishing. This guy fished up a, da a yak? What is this? <laughs> We're going to run back and heal, because I have a feeling this, this route is going to be pretty damn long. If it's anything like the last... Route in between cities, that shit gonna take us about three, four nights. And uh, we need to make sure that we're healed. We do our, we are stocked up on Hyper Potions. I think we're pretty much good to go with those, but we need to ensure that the team is uh, nice and healthy. Thank you, nurse. We really cannot afford to lose anything else. Seeing as I realize how long it takes to fucking grind up, it's gonna be ridiculous. If I end up losing anything else, we're we're going to be in a pretty bad spot. I mean, although I do assume that, I mean, I guess the wild Pokemon in these new areas are pretty high leveled, so it doesn't take that long. Still, just going from 40 to 50 is 
An absolute struggle. Oh, okay, something's going down. What the hell is that thing? Hello? Are you legendary? It just goes ahead and takes a look at me, and then this old guy's like, holy shit, bro. Did you see that Pokemon just now? That was Healthia. It's a legendary. It is a legendary. Healthia is known as the growth Pokemon. Has the ability to grow plant life in desolate places with a single touch. That's why those flowers appeared there. Actually, all of these flowers were made by Healthia. This area is said to be uh, the place where it lives. Isn't that wonderful? I wonder if you'll ever get the chance to see it again. Well, that's pretty crazy. I assume we're going to see it again. A little bit of foreshadowing for us there. Are right, we going to run down here and grab this here mental herb? Thank you for that. I love this route. The sunflowers look so awesome. This lady's got crazy hair, so she's probably going to be pretty difficult to battle. She's a gardener, though. Never mind. False alarm. She's got a bush airy. What the fuck? <laughs> it literally just has a big-ass cube. Okay, it's only level 43. And uh, we have seen the pre-evolution of this thing. The little bush little bush guy. And then it just turns into a... A, a fucking... Well-trimmed well well hedge, I guess, you got there. We do go to 53 there. 52, I mean. Troll goes to 35, trying to learn Sucker Punch. I guess we'll probably learn Sucker Punch. Decent dark move for us. Um, I did actually realize that Troll does not even learn Play Rough until like level 51, which is quite annoying, but... Ooh, okay, this, I don't think we've seen this thing either. You'd be, look, you'd be looking weird. I don't know if you've got some cross eyes going. I don't know about you. But uh, I really should have grinded up Troll at least uh, like 10 more levels. So that way it would have been useful here, but you know... Because I think it does evolve if we give it a certain stone we gotta get, but... Got some, like, sunflowers hanging out there. And, uh, there's gotta be... Oh, there is, in fact, a Roap Berry. So we'll snag that. And you know what's some bullshit? Why can't I just have... My flying bat go grab those berries? Like, what the fuck? He has wings. He can reach them. But continuing down this way, we do get a new encounter on this route, actually. So if we run into anything eventually... We can catch it. I need a break from looking at the sunflowers. How about a battle? You got it, you gardener guy. Gardener Leroy here has two Pokemon. He's got an Aroma. And I guess we'll just leave Dracula in front here. Seems pretty nice to have some, uh, some of them flying moves. Also, this would have been good to know that I could have came and grinded up here. Was I able to come here before? I never tried going down on this route. We always just we ended up just going straight straight up. But Eco Buzz, we got an Aero Acrobatic, yo ass. Aerocrobatics. And we are at least getting some solid experience. Level 36. You're getting there, buddy. Your break is over because you ain't got no mons left. All right. Let's see what we can find in this uh, these flowers here. Our first encounter is a Humzap. Uh, so level 39. Not too crazy. Um, I'm afraid to weaken it. I also don't really want to go into troll. What can I do to this thing? We're probably gonna we're gonna kill it with like everything. Do I just do I just huck some balls at this damn thing? Because if I go into happy, I'm sure everything's gonna kill it. Do I just huck some damn balls at this humzap? It's kind of a cool, kind of a cool, uh, cool mon. Let's just go for an ultra ball. Fuck it. Cause yeah, level 39. There's no way we're gonna be able to freaking weaken it. Crackle slam. Okay, so pretty hard hitting electric move. That did a lot of damage, and it does have speed boost, so I don't think this thing evolves. Uh, but that is, would be really nice to have. Let's just switch into Donna. I guess we're just gonna have to keep hucking balls at this thing. I'm afraid to. I guess I could um. I could go for spiky shields. It seems like a safe option. Let's do that. Let's go for a spiky shield here. See if we can get it to hurt itself. Except we're gonna need it to freaking hurt itself like ten damn times. Okay, air cannon. And it does not actually... I mean, yeah, so no, it doesn't make physical contact, so it doesn't get hurt by, by it. So that's fucking annoying. But we are going to go ahead and try to... I don't have any crazy balls. We're just going to Ultra Ball. I have 27 of these bad boys. Please just let me catch you, Humzap. I don't even know if I really want to use you. But it seems like I could use all the decently high-level mons I could get. Freaking Drill Peck. This thing does, does kind of do some decent damage. It's probably really frail, too. It's like the smallest bird known to mankind, so it's probably not the bulkiest. Hey, and we are able to catch it just without even damaging it. Nice. So we got ourselves a Humzap. And that's pretty cool. It is an electric flying bond. Whenever Humzap flaps its wings rapidly, it causes a loud 
buzzing noise. Many facilities employ cosmets to keep them away from interfering with signals. <laughs> so, that's pretty badass. We are gonna name you... What should I name? What should I name this little hummingbird boy? Alright, I don't know, man. We're just gonna name you Flash because, you know... I'm super creative, and you seem like a flash. <laughs> Alright, well that's kinda cool. Uh, we can always, we're can we always gonna take any of the Pokemon we can get. Got another battle here. What's happening, lady? Hey, let me show you my aromatic Pokemon in battle. You want me to sniff your Pokemon, huh? Well, well I'll see how they smell for you. Kathy here has three. She's got a Pixlily, which we definitely want to just absolutely kill because you ugly as hell, little green lady with wings. Fucking Tinkerbell looking ass. You dead. Okay, we almost got a 53. Next is a bush up. I'm trying to do some push ups on your bush up. So this is what the this thing better turn into that weird cube thing. But why don't you have the why don't you have the hedge thing? What, what's going on here? Maybe it's a different maybe it's a whole different thing. I don't know. The species of bush Pokemon. Dracula's trying to learn uh, Super Fang. We're not going to learn Super Fang. I go, although that would be actually decent for catching Pokemon. It does. Um, always do half of the opponent's remaining HP, but we're just gonna pass up on that because I make erroneous decisions Even though I mean we don't use like anything other than ac acrobatics really <laughs> we probably could have just got that but, yeah, Whatever because hyper fang I should have I should have taught that to it instead of hyper fang I'm trash and I accept that that's okay All right continuing this way we now enter the cave and it is dark as hell in here. We are gonna switch up the lead. Let's put um Let's put Ronja in front. We can catch a new Pokemon here. But, uh, man, boy, it's dark. And we got ourselves a hiker. Hey, hey, this tunnel leads you to Green Pine City. But how about a battle? Let's do it, buddy. Also, probably not the best to have Ronja in front because we're going to have a bunch of rock types. Cosmet. And I don't really remember what's up with this thing. It's going to quick guard. Protected the opposing team, huh? Um, so Flamethrower is going to knock you out with a crit. Even though it's not very effective. Get fucked. The thing has levitate, I remember, right? Something like that, I don't know. Next is the Eclipser. And for Eclipser, this thing, we've, we've come to the conclusion that, uh, wait, no. No, that's not the conclusion we came to. It burns it, oh jeez, what? What the fuck, Eclipser? It's gonna power gem, it's fucking, ouch. Oh my god, critical hit knocks us down to 16 HP. That was also another huge, uh, dude, why? I've mentioned multiple times that I keep fucking hitting the wrong thing against Eclipsers. And uh, I really thought that that was what I needed. Flame. I thought fire was good. Okay, what the fuck? It's because it's rock, that's why. Um, that's why we generally hit this thing with a ground move. But okay, we're gonna just finish it with a drill run. I saw my life flash before my eyes when Ranja almost just died. I was gonna be so damn sad. My god. Hey, hey, this guy hits and likes hitting us with a double haze. All right, we do need to heal, though, because uh, we just about had a casualty. And it wouldn't be an episode of mine if some crazy shit didn't happen due to pure negligence of uh, <laughs> not doing the right thing. But, it, you know, it happens. We are actually just going to still leave Ronja in front, though, because how much worse could it get? Now I know about Eclipsers. We're not, we're not going to click Flamethrower on those assholes. Uh, we run into a Nimblo here, so level 39 Nimblo. Um, it has Drizzle, and I'm just going to Will-O-Wisp it. It's not really going to help in the catching process. This guy looks like freaking ice cream. I love this thing. It's going to Squall Blow us. And uh, Blow Me, boy. Okay. Nim Blow Me. Let's, uh, let's switch out here. We'll go into Happy just to huck some Ultra Balls at this thing. I really am not going to risk attacking stuff. I could have gone for Flamethrowers there, but then I'm worried about it going for... Oh, fuck, now it predicts the switch and goes for a lightning strike. Dude, ouch. This Nimblo has lightning strike. That's not something I expected. Okay, I mean, I guess it is a freaking cloud, so it makes total sense, but we're just going to Ultra Ball you. And let's hope that I can catch it on the first try, because I really don't want to risk getting critted by a damn lightning strike, please. And we do catch it on the first try. Nice. <laughs> well... We got ourselves an Nimblo. I thought for some reason, no, no, maybe, no, maybe not. I was going to say, maybe I thought I ran into one of the things before as a first encounter. Because Nimblo's bodies mostly consist of water vapor, they shrink during droughts and grow during rainy seasons. So that's pretty cool. We are going to name you Creamy because you are a creamy boy. 
He looks delicious. There we go. Or she, actually. All right. So we got our Nimblo. That's kind of cool. Put you in box one. We have a full-ass box now, I'll tell you what. I'm not sure which direction we're supposed to be going. Bruh! I could have had this thing as my first encounter. A Cyril. No idea what the hell you are, but you're ba pretty badass looking. And I like you. But, of course, I get the damn cloud. Another one, so... Cyril, pretty uh, pretty common in this area. That's kind of cool. What's up? Hey, don't move. This is a tunnel for psychics like me. Well, that's pretty helpful that you're a psychic trainer because we can just shadow ball the shit out of you. Padma has a Cyril. Okay. Um, so you're psychic type, huh? We're just going to shadow ball you then. That should do the trick because Ranja is an absolute threat with the special attacks. This thing got some solid special attack. Try to learn Flare Up. Does that power, increase the power of fire moves? What is... Uh, which changes his normal type moves to fire moves? We're not going to flare up. Uh, no, thank you. That is a cool... A pretty cool move in terms of just the mechanics. Okay, Band Shriek. What the fuck is a Band Shriek? Oh, wait, no, we have, we have seen Band Shriek before. False alarm. Uh, I think this thing is... I thought it was a ghost type, but apparently just psychic. Well, Band Shriek, go and die. And, uh, actually, they did mention that this is like a ghost play. Hypno Puff. What the fuck? They did mention that this is a ghost cave, so I guess it is nice for us to have Ranja. Look, it's a Gulpin that just got, like... My god, it's... Okay. You got, uh... Some spirits living in you, huh? Gulpin? <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. Well, that's gonna knock you out. And Padma's been defeated. How could I lose? If you're a psychic, you should have seen that coming. You dummy. Help me. Can someone help me? What? Hello? What's going on here? Hey, it's Kiru. Hey, have you heard that cry too? It sounds like an older man is in danger. I know, I, I know this trick. Don't we're not gonna fall for it. He's gonna be like, "Help me!" and then he's gonna fucking pull some weird shit on us, man. He's gonna be like, "I have some candy back at my house. If you guys wanna come with me." I hate puzzles. I think you can solve it, so we can move on. Oh, okay. Well, looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned puzzle, huh? Uh, so this should be fun. We're <laughs> we are going to strength glove that. And it does make it way more annoying that we can't see the entire damn battlefield here. Or battlefield, I mean, the, just the full the full thing. Do we have fucking... I do have a thing for this, actually. Right? The, um... Flashlight. Why did I use this before? I forgot I had a flashlight. It's been so long since we've used the flashlight that, uh... That's pretty nice. Okay, we'll go like this. And then we'll go... Like this. I guess like that. Wait. Yeah. Was that the puzzle? What the fuck? Okay, I was expecting like a full on. You solved the puzzle. I was expecting a full ass puzzle. What the hell? Okay, I missed the Pokeball there though. I'm gonna need to get that. What is going on over here? So we have another temple thing. And of course it's these assholes. Hey, you too. Please help me. They want to steal some white stones from this temple. Hold your tongue, wannabe hiker. We're Team Lunar. We do whatever we want. Oh, look at them. If that's not the little twerps again. Still trying to thwart our plans, eh? <laughs> yeah, trying to thwart him, for sure. You're late as always. The windstone is ours. You can't stop us. Dream on. You won't be able to collect all the stones to summer Solar and Lunaro. I see you made your homework, little girl. You made your homework, huh? You guys are really the last hope of Professor Pinewood. Can't believe that. Whatever. Doesn't matter if you know our goals or not. We will stop you, Hayden. You are stronger than me. Take out the commander. I will battle the goons. All right, so we got another battle with a commander, friggin' Marcus, over here. We've been seeing these guys a lot lately. They just do not want to leave us alone. Or, I mean, it's mostly us not leaving them alone. But he's got himself a Skeledeep. And that thing looks like a, it's a water water um, rock type, which... Oh, shit. That's actually... That's actually extremely bad for us. Let's go into Donna here and hope that it goes for a rock move. I mean, we can take at least probably one water move. Megalofang. Megalofang? Okay, that... Um, oh, shit. It does over half, but we get the poison point, which is cool. Dude, Megalofang, that's that's an interesting move you got there. Well, we need to heal. Damn it. I guess I could go into Happy on the water move, but then I'm just really worried about it hitting us with like a stone edge or something. Just gonna keep on Megalofang us, okay. Well, Donna cannot take two of those. Although we can probably just kill it with a bulldoze. Because uh, that's the way we roll. 
I'm just really afraid. Is, Bul is Bulldoze even gonna knock this thing out? We're gonna have, we're gonna potion. We're gonna. <sighs> what should I do here? Should I just switch into Happy? I think we're just gonna switch our asses into Happy. I don't want to. I don't want to risk anything. I'm just playing so scared now because I'm so worried about killing things, which is. Which is funny because I almost just did kill Ranja. Okay, we're gonna hyper potion here. We're gonna see what this thing's got for us. It's gotta have some solid rock move, I'm sure. No, I'm just gonna keep on megalofanging. Okay, that's totally fine. Luckily, it's only level 44, so we don't have to be even that worried. But the poison does knock it down to half. I really could have just stayed in with Donna there. Oh, it's actually faster than Happy, so maybe I shouldn't have just. I thought that. Donna would have been able to outspeed and kill it, but it looks like might not have been. Critical hit. What that fucking How defensive is this thing? My god, it lived it. Hello? Okay, the poison's gonna kill it next turn, so you know what? We're freaking hyper potion again. Cause uh we're just out here wasting hyper potions like nobody's business. Just, oh fuck, now it pain splits. <laughs> oh my god. Why didn't I just fucking quick attack? Why am I like this? Why didn't I just click quick attack? I'm a fucking idiot today. Jesus. I really gotta... Uh, I swear, a lot of the time I start recording immediately after I take a nap. And, uh... I feel like I'm just out of it all the damn time. <laughs> I, I, I had a perfectly good quick attack to finish that thing off at 1 HP. You guys are probably all yelling at your screens. Telling me to quick, click quick attack there. But I just hyper potioned because that seemed like a good option. But with a perfectly good quick attack there, that's totally fine. Cursed body. Now it pain splits again at like 1 HP. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I had like 5, but same thing. Dude. You're grinding my gears, Skeledeep. I'm just going to keep on using hyper potions because I am afraid. And, um. Fuck it. At least we don't have to worry about it. Now it's going to phantom grip, actually. So that doesn't do very much either. Draw my speed though. Okay, can we just get a KO with this damn bulldoze, please? Oh, the bulldoze is disabled. Yeah, of course it is. Well, of course, we're gonna scald you then, buddy. How about that? Scald knocks it out. So, my God, that was incredibly more difficult than it should have been, and I apologize that I'm garbage at this game. Donna's trying to learn Screech. We are not gonna teach you Screech. Sorry about that. Okay, what's next? Trolls 38. Happy's no longer disabled. Okay, next is the Countula. Um, so, that thing we can just handle with, um, we'll just stay in on Happy. With Happy, because we now have Ice School Crash, or actually Quick Attack, probably, but we're gonna Ice, ice School Crash to ensure the knockout. Um, it's gonna crunch us, which does hurt, definitely. But you don't like to use some Icicles. It's level 48, so this thing came to play. Hot oh, damn. That fish was fucking ridiculous, though. All right, we go to 54 there, looking nice. Next is a spec stone. No idea what the hell a spec stone is, but it sounds like a, a stone and a rock type, so we're gonna switch into Donna. We are gonna need to heal. I cannot afford to lose any damn thing, especially Donna, because I love Donna. Okay, specs, dude, Jesus Christ, this thing is an intense looking. Hello? This guy comes in and says, it's my turn on the Xbox, mom said. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and hyper potion and see this thing's gonna do is just gonna set up some stealth rock okay some late game rocks huh i like your style kind of well drill run and it has levitate of course it does now it's gonna hex us ouch okay um so levitating boy of course it has levitate levitate let's, let's try to hit it with a stone edge i mean it's obviously just rock types so that's not gonna do shit eh, critical hit does over half though and actually Totally fine. And he tries to stone edge too and misses. You failure. We're just gonna stone edge again. Doesn't quite knock it out. Now it's just gonna send a skull's bad breath at us. And uh, one more stone edge is gonna do it, although I'm gonna miss. So I'm gonna poison jab instead. Hit him with that stat. Okay, the poison jab did fucking negative. It did absolutely negative damage. Bruh. Okay, god, if that was a critical hit, I swear. Figured the poison jab was a safe bet there, considering couldn't miss, but you know it did. It literally healed this thing rather than doing damage. So not my best showing in terms of battles, and I apologize for that. But okay, we do actually connect. We haven't missed a damn stone edge in ages. 
I'm sorry that I'm playing this absolutely dumb as hell. But at least I won and I didn't kill anybody. And, look at this, Troll is evolving. I had no idea this was even going to happen. But that's pretty damn cool. Oh my god, what is going on? My game is freezing. Troll evolving is making my game crash. <laughs> Hello? Yep, okay. Um, something about troll evolving has caused my game to completely crash. It's just the screen just says not responding at the top. I don't know what the hell's up with that. But that is extremely annoying. What the fuck? Bruh. Well, um, yeah, so my game does not want this thing to evolve, and I guess that means that I'm not going to be able to use this thing, because apparently when it evolves, it uh, the game crashes. So, damn it. That is extremely annoying. I really wish that didn't happen, because now i got to go through another like 35 minutes of the game and get to this damn point again. But Well, here's what I'm going to do. I guess we'll... At the beginning of next episode, I'll start recording right as we get to this point. So we can kind of see what happens after after we beat this boss guy. But dude, that is ex so annoying. What the hell, troll? How you, he really trolled my game. This man literally is a troll. My game has been trolled. Well, okay. Well, guys, we are going to end the episode here. We didn't get to see what the hell this thing evolves into, but it does not like this game. So anyway, don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.